The Anti-Distracted Driving Act, officially recorded as Republic Act No. 10913, is a law in the Philippines that prohibits distracted driving by restricting and penalizing the use of mobile phones and other electronics devices while driving on any public thoroughfare, highway or street in the Philippines. The Republic Act defines, "...distracted driving," as Using mobile communications device to write, send, or read a text-based communication or to make or receive calls. Or. Using an electronic entertainment or computing device to play games, watch movies, surf the internet, compose messages, read e-books, perform calculations, and other similar acts. While behind the wheel of a moving vehicle or while temporarily stopped at a red light. The law covers all private and public vehicles, including agricultural machines, construction equipments, public utility buses and jeepneys, taxicabs, motorcycles, tricycles, pedicabs, culiglegs and carriages. Enactment on February 3, 2016, Senators Bong Revilla, Jingoy Estrada and Sergio Osmeña III filed Senate Bill No. 3211 at the Philippine Senate Committee on Public Services which aims to "...safeguard its citizenry from the ruinous and extremely injurious effects of vehicular accidents caused by the "...unrestrained use of electronic mobile devices." Similar legislation was also introduced in the Philippine House of Representatives as House Bill No. 4531 on June 6, 2016 by Tarlac Representative Susan Yap, Northern Samar Rep. Harlan Abayan, Buhay Party List Reps. Erwin Tiang and Lito Atienza, Pampanga Representative Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, Antipolo Rep. Romeo ACOP, DIWA Party List Rep. Emmeline Aglipe, Camarines Sir Rep. Rolando Andaya Jr., Catanduanas Rep. Cesar Sarmiento, Come Again Representative Xavier Jesus Rimwaldo, and Quezon Rep. Angelina Tan. The road safety measure was submitted by the 16th Congress of the Philippines to President Benigno Aquino III on July 27, 2015, and lapsed into law without the President's signature or veto on July 21, 2016. Under Article 6 of the 1987 Constitution of the Philippines. The President shall communicate his veto of any bill to the House where it originated within 30 days after the date of receipt thereof, otherwise, it shall become a law as if he had signed it." It also states that a law will take effect 15 days after its publication in at least two newspapers of general circulation. Enforcement the Anti-Distracted Driving Act took effect on May 18, 2017 under the new administration of President Rodrigo Duterte. Under the law, drivers are only allowed to use hands-free functions of gadgets, such as speaker phones, provided that these do not block their line of sight. The implementing agency is the Land Transportation Office LTO, under the Department of Transportation that was tasked to promulgate the necessary implementing rules and regulations within 60 days from the effectivity of the Act. It also ordered the LTO, the Philippine Information Agency, the Department of Education, the Department of the Interior and Local Government and the Philippine National Police PNP, to undertake a nationwide information, education and communication campaign for a period of six months from the effectivity of the Act. The Metropolitan Manila Development Authority, the PNP and other law enforcement agencies are required to enforce the Act. Fines. A motorist caught in violation of the Act shall be fined 5,000 pesos for the first offense, 10,000 pesos for the second offense, and 15,000 pesos for the third offense plus suspension of his or her driving license for three months. On the fourth offense, the erring driver shall be fined 20,000 pesos plus a revocation of the driving license. Erring drivers of public utility vehicles, school buses, school service vehicles, and common carriers hauling volatile, flammable or toxic material shall be fined 30,000 pesos and suspension of their driving license for three months. The same penalty applies to motorists caught in violation of the Act within a 50 meter 160 feet radius of school premises. The LTO, as implementing agency, may increase the amount of fines once every five years, in the amount not exceeding 10% of the existing rates, which shall take effect only upon publication in at least two newspapers of general circulation. 
Exemptions The Act does not apply to motorists using mobile phones for emergency purposes, including emergency calls to a law enforcement agency, health care provider, fire department or other emergency services, motorists operating emergency vehicles such as ambulances, fire trucks and other emergency vehicles, in the course and scope of their duties. Reaction the app-based ride-sharing service providers Grab and Uber welcomed the implementation of the Anti-Distracted Driving Act and said it would contribute to road safety, benefiting both drivers and commuters. They reminded all their partner drivers to strictly comply with the new law as they have distributed materials for their drivers to make sure they know what they can and cannot do while transporting their passengers. Suspension on May 23, 2017, enforcement of the Act was suspended after it caused confusion among motorists due to lack of proper information dissemination. The House Committee on Transportation asked for a review of the implementing rules and regulations after it was learned that the Land Transportation Office only conducted an awareness campaign for enforcers and not the public at large. The committee pointed out the provision in the law that stipulates that its full implementation should only come after a six month aggressive information campaign. LTO Chief Edgar Galvante admitted the lapse in implementation and said that the LTO does not have the authority to carry out the information drive unless approved first by both chambers of Congress. The House Committee then passed a motion to hold in abeyance the law's implementation. References <laughs>